Welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and again, T-Mobile is making headlines. Now, if you're a T-Mobile customer or a Sprint customer, T-Vision is almost here. Now, a couple months ago, I did an overview of T-Vision, and back then, it was really limited as to where it was offered, and the price was outrageous, wasn't worth our time, but now, it's starting to resemble some of those streaming services that we love. So, T-Vision will be available to T-Mobile customers starting November 1st. Let's go ahead and jump into the details. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So just get that out of the way, guys. This is gonna be available starting November 1st. It is gonna be only available to T-Mobile and Sprint customers. So keep that in mind. If you're not a T-Mobile or Sprint customer, you will not be able to get this service, which I think is, is kind of a bummer. But let's jump more into the details. So it tells you right here, hey, it's gonna be available November 1st. They're gonna have a T-Vision Live and a T-Vision Vibe uh, base packages. And we're gonna get in more into the packages and channels here in a little bit. Um, most of it's gonna be based off your area. So if you get to the website, put in your zip code and you should be able to see what's gonna be available for your area. So the new T-Vision, you will not need to sign any contract, no long-term deals getting you locked in. You can cancel whenever you want, essentially. You can download the applications on your devices. We're gonna get into those supported devices here in a little bit. And no need to install anything. Use your home network, use your T-Mobile network, and you can stream on with no issues. So let's go into the channels and the actual cost. So this is my zip code. Like I said, you're gonna to have to put in your own zip code and see what's available for your area. For my area, I have the T-Vision Live and I have the T-Vision Vibe. So with Live, you have three basic packages, guys. So $40 a month for 35 channels. So as far as the channels you're getting, you can see you have your broadcast channels right there. You have some sports channels. So you have two SPNs, the two Fox, and you do have NBC Sports as well. Here are your news, your general channel. So you have Oxygen in there, TNT, True TV. You also have Bravo in that area. At the bottom, you're gonna have your family channels, Cartoon Network, Disney, Disney Junior, Disney XD, as well as Freeform. So those are all the channels that's gonna be available in that live TV package. Here's the live plus. So this is gonna bring it up to $50 a month, uh, but you can see you have some more channels here. So it starts off for me, at least with the ACC Network, Big 10, you can see they have all of them right there. ESPNs look like you have most of the ESPN, the college networks as well. Uh, you have ESPNU, ESPN News, Fox Sports 1, 2. You have the Golf Channel, NBC Sports. You also have NFL Network, Olympic Channel, as well as the SEC. So if you're a sports fan, this is a great option to look at. So further down, you have more news channels. So you have Fox News, CNN, CNBC. Now you have Bravo, you have True TV, you also have TBS, Oxygen Channel, National Geographic. And further down, you do have the same Disney Network. So that was your middle package. At least for me, that was my middle package. And the last one within that area is gonna be our live zone. Same basic broadcast channels. Looks like we added a couple more sports channels in here. So this is sports heavy. Further down, you have your news. You have more general networks, it look like. And you also have added a couple more for your family channels. And that's gonna be $60 a month. So that was all the T-Vision Live. Now let's jump over to the T-Vision Vibe. T-Vision Vibe is gonna be $10 a month. $10 a month for 34 channels, but what are we getting? So right away you see we have AMC, we have BET, CMT, you also have OWN, TLC. That's all for your lifestyle channels. Further down, you have world channels, kids. So you're not gonna get a lot for your vibe channels. So most people are gonna be in the T-Vision Live area. They do have packages that you can go ahead and sign up for a la carte. So these are your premium channels. You can see they have stars, Showtime, as well as Epic. These are gonna start at $5.99 a month. So it looks like those can either be added to the package that you're choosing, or you can buy those by themselves. So that's definitely good to hear. So. Now, as far as your compatible devices and TV, so you can see they do have an Android device that they can offer to you. Uh, this is called T-Vision Hub, so it is an Android base, but for most of you guys, especially watching this channel, you know that if you have a Fire Stick, probably go out and buy one instead of getting their hub. Uh, you have more options outside of T-Mobile, so just keep that in mind. I wouldn't really give their actual device a second look unless it offers some features that's not included in the application i know some of the dedicated devices will have a split screen view or something like that so once that comes out we'll see if it's worth 
even taking a look at. So as far as the other devices, so Apple TV, we have the Apple TV 4K, we have the Nvidia Shield, of course, the Fire TV, third generation, the Fire TV Stick 4K, Fire TV Stick second, Fire TV Cube, Chromecast with Google TV, new edition, of course. And as far as your smart TVs, you can see the select Android TVs right there. So they do have Hisense, Sony, Philips, Sharp, Western House, Epson as well as TLC. As far as the smart Fire TV editions, you can see those right there. What devices are not gonna be supported at launch? So again, Roku is getting the snub. Every time something like this happens, Roku is left out. So Roku will not be supported. Samsung TV will not be supported. LG TV will not be supported. All models of Microsoft Xbox, Sony PlayStation, Nintendo gaming systems will not be supported. And the web browser is not supported. That is that is crazy to me so as far as the profiles you will have that available to you so if you guys wanted to add multiple users or uh, a profile for every user in your household that will be available so dvr options only appear in t vision if you've got the dvr feature now as far as the dvr you're going to get up to 100 hours of recording space and this is going to last for five months so if you record something and have it sitting there after five months, it will go away. Now, as far as the amount of streams that you can watch for T-Vision Live, you can have a maximum of three concurrent screens. For T-Vision Vibe, you can have two. And for the T-Vision channels, you can have a total of three as well. So in the comment section, let me know what you guys think of the new T-Vision that's set to launch on the 1st of November. Remember, you have three main packages. They have the Live, the Vibe, as well as the channels, which can be added into the other packages. So the Live is starting at $40, the Vibe at $10, and the T-Vision channels or the premium packages or add-ons can be added starting at $5.99 a month. So a couple things to take away from this that uh, stood out right away is that yes, you have to be a T-Mobile or a Sprint customer in order to take advantage of this service. The other thing is that this will not be available in your web browser, guys. I've never seen that on one of these streaming services yet. So that's gonna affect my decision, I know, because this is something that I do while I'm working on my computer. I'll have a window up and I'll be watching my subscription. So I will be reviewing the service once it's available. So stay tuned for that as well. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streamer reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell. Make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway.